Hey guys, how's it going? Well, today we're going to work on, uh, we're going down the road and I'm having to go all over the place with the wheel back and forth here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and replace both, both the tie rod ends. I saved you guys the trouble of jacking the truck and taking the tire off. But anyways, so I'm going to take this tie rod end out right here. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this or not, but there's a... Uh, a ball stud in the bottom of this arm that goes up and there's there's these two cups this uh, big heavy screw here there's a Carter key holding it in and this this can turn in or out to uh, actually bring those cups together on that ball stud on there and that's how you keep and this thing is you know there's a little bit of play in there but the main thing is the drag link right here uh, there's there's quite a bit of play in that. So anyways, we're gonna get to, uh, I'm gonna get this off and then drop the uh, steering arm the tie rod arm down and uh, pull this uh, Pull this arm off of the backing plate here. So I'll get to that right now and bring you guys back Okay, I just wanted to show you guys how um, I got this uh, ball stud how I'm getting it rather out of this uh, backing plate arm that the tie rod goes in so the ball studs on the other side of that so I started out uh, with a quarter inch drill bit and went down in the center of that you can see that the little hole there and I've ha found center and then I went down and uh, took a half inch drill bit and just kind of came down but before I did any of that I went out and I ground off the top because this uh, stud is peened over so I just took enough of it off to get down to where the peen was gone and then so now what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to undermine that uh, that uh, uh, the stud that's left in there and so uh, one-handed here I'm going to try to uh, I'm going to just put you on pause I'm going to go take that over to the vise and set up okay so here there's a picture so you can actually see what the ball stud looks like coming out of the bottom of the arm and so I'm going to set it up in the vise there and uh, give it a little heat and see if I can't persuade that out of there. Okay, so I'm going to set this guy right up here like this. And I'm going to give it a little heat here. Got a little bit of uh, penetrating oil in there too. So, okay, hopefully that will expand that outer part a little bit here. So I'm just gonna come down in here and clamp that uh, the ball stud on this really good here on the vise, and then I'm just gonna use this pry bar in here. And oh man, things really on there. Oh, oh, it's a little bit loose now, so let's see if I can't. There we go. Alrighty, she came off, and uh, it looks to me. Uh, right now this is a little bit warm, but I'm going to try to pick it up and show you guys. Uh, I got that pretty pretty centered because uh, there's still still some of that left all around. I think you can see that. There's, uh, yeah, there, that's a pretty good angle. You can see that I didn't get into the outside of that. So half inch drill, perfect on that. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get uh, ready to uh, get the other tie rod in, in and then i got to get the uh, drag link off, and so I'll come back when I'm getting to that. All right. All right, guys, so I, right here i got the, uh, the new drag link here, 
this part up here goes to the steering arm which is right there and then of course this is the arm coming off the backing plate that holds the tie rod so most of you probably already know this but when you're going to uh, take these off like uh, when I took the old one off you uh, simply just can put a uh, pry bar between this part and that part and then you always want to just hit this part the part with the hole in it you hit that as you're putting pressure up on this leader pry bar and that'll pop those loose so uh, most people know that but anyways just thought since I couldn't really show that because I can't really film back in there so right now I'm going to uh, go ahead and put this arm back on and then I'll be able to put the uh, the drag link in and I got the tie rod sitting there on there and I got this uh, you notice how I got that uh, that tape where the threads were but I also noticed that I had about an inch of toe out on the front of this now that could have very well been why this thing was wanting to go all over the road um, so I'm going to leave things fairly loose and uh, I'm actually going to uh, put the tires in at about an eighth of an inch towed in and then I'm going to slip, turn these to where they just slip in into place uh, and I'll have my steering wheel all straightened out so I'll go one side or the other and that should get it pretty close. I want to be about an eighth of an inch towed in when I'm all done and then we can uh, take her for a ride before I you know uh, really crank everything really down and put the car to keys all in I'll test it so okay I'll be back in a little bit okay guys so got everything all hooked up now there's the drag link hooked up to the arm and then maybe we can see this arm as well a little bit here there's the arm back there all hooked up tie rod ends both sides and so I got things snugged up and I'll check the toe in and we'll do that next and then uh, see how she uh, if we got any play out of the steering and uh, see if she tracks down the road a little better but, uh, you know that uh, the old setup had this uh, ball stud we talked about as you saw me take this out of the old arm uh, I should have mentioned I'm sure you guys uh, probably figured it out that the new tie rod ends have uh, it's modern day so they they stick down like a ball joint inside the arm but just kind of wanted to show you guys how how these things are made up here see this and you can see where that's worn out too that cup so this ball uh, there's another half a cup in there already and there's a slot in that cup that'll take grease so this once it's in the arm this this goes in there like so and that other cup goes in against that ball like so and anyways there we go we got that in and then this screw goes down tightens up on there to give your you know your you know to get this so it's uh, snugged up and then a carter key goes in there and locks it in and then it's got a grease fitting and uh, that's probably about 70 years old and here is the steering link and it's the same setup as the new one it comes with the uh, the uh you know the style like this like the ball joint and tie rod ends the modern stuff but these here were all uh loose and uh they had lots of play in them too so anyways so i just thought i would uh you know show you guys that stuff there so all right well we'll get the rest here put together and then uh see how she turns out Okay, so we got the the truck all back together, and so what I'm going to do now is uh, set my toe toe in, and so I've got this stick here clamped together, and I'm going to put it uh, on the center of the tire, right under the leaf springs, and you can see that I can't get it in there. It's probably 
Oh, it needs to go out at least an inch here. And we're going to start out with that adjustment to start with, and then we'll go from there. So let me loosen up the tie rod end, and uh, I'll probably take the tie rod end out and move the tire manually by hand till I get it out uh, where I can get this uh, the proper distance between it, and then I'll just adjust the tie rod end until it slips back into the arm. Okay, let me work on this a little bit, and I'll bring you right back. Okay, so I got my very sophisticated piece of wood up front, and I've got uh, back here, I have about a half an inch, uh, no, I'm sorry, about three sixteenths uh, of an inch uh, more gap in the back, so I'm towed in about that much. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to spin this tie rod and I'm going to get it to drop in the hole, and that should lock us in. And we were a long ways off. I can see that right now. I might have to fine-tune this later to get the steering wheel. But right now, I just kind of want to drop her. See, now she dropped right in place there. And so I think I'll call that one good, and then maybe tighten things up and take her for a little spin. Okay, I'm going to call that good right there. She dropped in. And so I'm touching on the stick in the front. I'm going to grab it and bring it back here. And I should have between a quarter inch and, uh, and uh, yeah, okay. So this is what I like. This is what I want right here. I'm going to try to show you guys this if you can see it right there. Uh, can you see that? Right there. That's how much I'm out in the back. Right there. So we're going to call that good. So let me tighten things up. Sorry for the footage. It's really hard to get underneath there with this camera and show you guys that. But I'll get her tightened up here. Okay, so I got everything back together. I'm about ready to take it for a ride now. Now one thing I did notice about the steering wheel is that there is a lot more solidness not as much flopping when you let go it's and it's turning the wheel uh, i don't know if you can notice that or not down there but it is it's turning the wheel with very little uh ease up here so the real uh the real uh test will be when i drive it if it's not all over the road and then i will probably have to check the alignment since i'm doing it myself uh after the back so I'm gonna go ahead and take it for a little ride now and we'll see road so we'll see here well guys there is just no question about it it just drives totally different it's very nice uh, I don't have to uh, uh, I'm not going uh, you know back and forth like this down the road anymore I'm being able to hold the wheel in my hand and it just goes straight on down the road without me correcting back and forth and I didn't really uh, notice it until I got it out on a on the road and really you know started driving it was hard for me to film but uh, yeah I'm uh, very uh, happy with it and I've got that little bit of uh, eighth inch toe in there and I'm just gonna keep it like this and drive it for a little bit and uh, so I think we're just gonna wrap this up uh, on this uh, video now for the uh, suspension the front steering suspension and uh, yeah I appreciate you guys watching uh, please subscribe and comment drop a comment down there okay thanks guys till next time